by Rob Bichetta, Kareem Kader and Amir Talk Israel's fragile government lost its parliamentary majority on Thursday after an Arab Israeli lawmaker resigned from the ruling coalition, accusing its leaders of fueling tensions between Israelis and Palestinians and condemning the violent intervention. Gaida Rinawi Zoabi, a lawmaker of the left-wing Meretz party, said she opposed what she called the government's rightward shift and accused it of disgracefully harassing the society I come from. Her resignation means Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has the support of just 59 of the 120 members of the Knesset and now leads a minority government potentially pointing to yet another round of elections in the country after years of political instability. In recent months, out of narrow politi. The last month, the month of Ramadan, has been unbearably difficult, she added. The scenes from the Temple Mount of violent policemen confronting a crowd of worshippers, and the funeral of Palestinian journalist Shireen Abu Akleh, led me to only one valuable conclusion, no more, Rainawi Zawabi W. I cannot continue to support the existence of a coalition that disgracefully harasses the society I came from. The Temple Mount is the holy site in Jerusalem's old city known in Arabic as the Haram al-Sharif or Noble Sanctuary, containing the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Television footage from the funeral of Al Jazeera journalist Shireen Abu Akleh showed officers striking mourners with batons, forcibly taking down Palestinian flags, and arresting individuals carrying her coffin through the streets of Jerusalem. Abu Akleh had been shot in the head in the West Bank as she covered an Israeli military raid, the precise circumstances of her killing remain unclear. I believed and continue to believe in Arab-Jewish coexistence with every part of my being, in academia, business, as well as politics, Rai I also believe and continue to believe that real Jewish-Arab partnership must come from a place of equality, with both sides seeing eye to eye. Rainawi Zawabi's resignation does not automatically trigger the downfall of Bennett's 11-month-old government. But opposition leaders could push for and secure a fifth parliamentary election in four years if they gain the support of the Knesset, where the government is now outnumbered.